subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. Title, Understanding Python Try Without Accept, a comprehensive tutorial. Introduction In Python, the try statement is commonly used to handle exceptions and gracefully manage errors in code. However, there are scenarios where you might want to use try without an accompanying accept block. In this tutorial, we will explore the concept of using try without accept and discuss its implications. The try statement is used to enclose a block of code where an exception might occur. Its basic syntax is as follows. Surprisingly, it is valid to use try without an accompanying accept block. This form of try allows you to execute a block of code that may raise an exception without providing any specific handling for it. Here's the basic syntax. When using try without accept, the finally block is mandatory. The code inside the finally block is executed whether an exception is raised or not. This makes it suitable for cleanup operations or actions that must be performed regardless of the program's flow. Let's illustrate the concept with a simple code example. In this example, the divide underscore numbers function attempts to divide two numbers. The try block contains the division operation, and the finally block prints a message that will always be executed. Using try without accept in combination with finally provides a way to ensure that certain code is executed regardless of whether an exception occurs or not. While it might not be as common as using try with accept, understanding this pattern can be beneficial in scenarios where cleanup or finalization is necessary. Remember that using try without accept should be done with caution, as it might suppress error messages and make debugging more challenging. Always consider the specific requirements of your code before deciding to omit the accept block. Chat GPT Title Understanding Python's Try Statement Without Accept Introduction The try statement in Python is commonly used to handle exceptions, allowing developers to gracefully manage errors in their code. However, it is also possible to use the try statement without an accompanying accept block. In this tutorial, We'll explore the concept of using try without accept and discuss scenarios where it might be applicable. Syntax The basic syntax of a try statement without an accept block is as follows. Explanation In this structure, the try block contains the code that might raise an exception. The finally block, on the other hand, consists of code that will be executed regardless of whether an exception occurs or not. This allows for cleanup or finalization operations to be performed. Example Let's consider a simple example where we open a file, read its contents, and close it using the try statement without an accept block. In this example, the try block attempts to open the specified file, read its contents, and then prints them. The finally block ensures that the file is closed, regardless of whether an exception occurs or not. Scenarios for using try without accept Resource cleanup, when you need to ensure that certain resources, example file handles, network connections, are properly closed or released, regardless of whether an exception occurs or not. Finalization tasks, if you have tasks that must be performed at the end of a block of code, such as logging or closing database connections. It's important to note that using try without accept is less common than the typical use of try with accept. In most cases, you'll want to handle exceptions to provide meaningful error messages or take specific actions based on the type of exception. Conclusion the try statement without accept in Python is a useful construct for scenarios where resource cleanup or finalization tasks need to be performed, regardless of whether an exception occurs or not. It ensures that certain code is executed in a cleanup phase, providing a mechanism for graceful exit or resource release. ChatGPT